I am here with amateur MMA prospect Dalton Rasta. Dalton, how's life? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Appreciate your time so close to your fight. You'll be fighting uh, this Saturday, Rivers Casino, Made Men Promotions. Uh, talk a little bit about who you're going to be fighting. Um, I'm fighting a fighter. He's from Philadelphia, PA. His name is Vaughn Williams. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, 32 years old, 6'1". He's southpaw. That's 4-0. That's about all I know about him. Uh, wasn't much video or anything to watch online, but uh, I gathered what I could about him. And, uh, yeah, it's, we're two days out, and I'm ready to go. Now, th this is obviously so close to your fight, but on the, on the day of a competition or even fight week for you, how do you get in that right mental state? You know, How do you get yourself mentally prepared, ready for war? Do you have any rituals? Um, honestly, no. I, I've been boxing on and off since I was like 12 years old. And I started wrestling as a freshman in uh, high school. Started doing jiu-jitsu in like eighth grade. And I mean, through everything that I started when I was younger, I would say pr probably wrestling is where I developed like the mindset that I have uh, with the hard work, consistency, uh, being hard-nosed, uh, always just whenever whenever I got to get in a grind, putting my put, putting my head down and just driving forward and. Uh, I mean, I carry that, I carry that mentality through, through life with me, with everything, with work, school, uh, fighting, training, practice, everything, man. And it's, uh, I don't really have any rituals or anything I do before the fight. It's just, just a mentality that I developed over the years through training, and I, I keep doing it every day. Well, it certainly worked for you uh, as of now. Uh, in, in regards to training, where do you train? Talk a little bit about your uh, preparation for this bout. Um, I actually train at a few gyms. I do uh, a lot of like open mat rolling and a lot of sparring. So I I train my boxing in Youngstown at a place called Downtown Boxing Club. It's a real generic name for a gym. But uh, my boxing trainer down there is real good. He, uh, it's Sam Calderon. He fought on Showtime, HBO. He was started off 10 of those, pro. Really good uh, boxer, really good, good boxing coach. That's who does my striking. Uh, I do my jujitsu at the Mat Factory in Lower Borough. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, I have. But yeah, we there's some really good fighters out of there. Dom Mazzotta's in Bellator. Uh, Chris Dempsey's in Bellator. He he fought in the UFC previously, yep. and uh, we have four or five black belts in the room at any time. All Americans, national champs, uh, any anything you can name, we have it, and uh, it's it's a hell of a room, and uh, it's a lot a lot a lot of hard training and then a lot of grinds. And that's where I do my jiu-jitsu and my wrestling mainly. But I also go down to a place called Pride Lands or Armazani Jiu-Jitsu down in Manakapia, as well as uh, other places I spar for boxing. I have Southside Boxing Gym where Kelly Pavlik was from in Youngstown. I get some sparring over there. Um, I go to a place called Str uh, Burnside and Struthers, as well as a place called Aries in uh, Macedonia, Ohio. Now, you really do have some great teams behind you. Talking about Kelly Pavic, I actually recently had him on the show. That guy is a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, I, I saw I saw that. I was looking at your videos and stuff on YouTube. Uh, I saw that you did an interview with him. Um, yeah, he was probably the best best boxer out of the Youngstown area. He oh. uh, he he really put Youngstown on the map. But uh, uh, that's hard, kind of hard to say. No, my boxing coach and everything. You know, you know, stuff goes wrong in some people's career. But I truly believe my boxing coach skill wise was the best boxer out of this area um kelly pavlik had the b biggest name and he was he was very good himself too mm -hmm. but uh i mean everything just went smoothly for him and went right and he was in the right places at the right time and, i mean a lot not a lot of people have those opportunities or get that lucky really uh luck does play a part oh yeah and, uh, but there's definitely some good strikers good boxers over in the youngstown area and uh i'm glad to be a part of it yeah, 100%, 100%. Dalton, I, I know you're coming back uh, from an injury. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I hurt my knee, I want to say, about two months ago. Or I actually hurt it in February. I tore my meniscus. I went to the doctor, got an MRI. He told me that I could keep, I could keep fighting, keep training on it if I wanted to. But uh, so he told me to just go back to practice, go full go, and see how it felt. And honestly, at first, 
I couldn't twist, I couldn't cut, I couldn't pivot, I couldn't do anything really at practice, and uh, definitely couldn't wrestle on it. So I had a title fight already lined up with Pinnacle Fighting Championships in Pittsburgh on March 24th, and I was about, I want to say a month out, maybe five weeks out from that, and uh, the injury happened then, and I didn't want to pull off from the fight because I already sold a bunch of tickets. Uh, it was my first opportunity to tie as a title fight, and I was fighting probably the best fighter that I fought so far in Trent Sadarko, and uh, it was just it was a good opportunity for me. So I decided to push through the injury, and uh, I trained through it. I made some adapta adaptations to my training. I couldn't run as much, couldn't do my sprints or anything, so I found other ways to do conditioning. Um, I did circuit workouts with Mike Molinera, Molinera Function Health and uh, Health and Functional Training. Uh, and I did a lot of sparring, a lot, a lot of mid work, stuff like that, got ready for that fight. Um, I fought, ended the fight a minute and 29 seconds into the first round by TKO. And uh, about a week, maybe two weeks after that fight, I was running again and my knee swelled up the size of a balloon again. So I was getting ready for the national or the Ohio Golden Gloves, actually. And uh, you need to get some road work in for boxing for sure. Yeah. And, uh, it just, like I said, it swelled up. I couldn't walk the next day. It, I could barely bend it. And so I went back to the doctor. He did an MRI. He said the tears got worse. I pulled it in like three spots. And uh, he had to do the surgery. So I got the surgery done. About three weeks after my surgery, started running again. And got back into training four weeks in. And I've been training ever since. So I'm, I'm ready to go, though. Gotcha. So, so, you, so you are doing better right now. You, like this training camp, it's been pretty yeah. smooth. Yeah, I mean, as soon as as soon as I was able to start training again, I I started. I haven't had any problems really with my knee at all, uh, none at all. I mean, I've had two knee surgeries prior to this one. This is my third, Jeez. and I had complications with both of the knee surgeries before that. But this one actually, I I didn't have any problems with it at all. So I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. The training went well. There was no hindrance in my training at all or anything. For that matter good man good i'm glad you're doing better um dalton obviously looking at your record and watching your fights you are a monster in the cage i mean all, all finishes all dominant fights you've won with ease is this another uh fight that's going to go down as a finish uh yeah i i'm gonna finish this guy one way or another uh i tell everybody it, it's it's, it's going to be a finish regardless but i'm honestly hoping this dude tests me in some type of way because all my fights like you said before this were all dominant victories and I had I had one fight my my MMA debut go to the third round it was against Sergeant Scunther who was 3-0 and at the time it was my debut I was taking a fight against a 3-0 guy which most people don't do yeah and uh he he was pretty good but I was I was beating him pretty bad the entire fight long like it was just a beating for three rounds straight Yep. And I just couldn't get the finish. I couldn't close. It, it was just the fact that it was my debut. And honestly, I probably wasn't conditioned enough because in the, the times or the spots where you could look at the ref, the ref's about to stop it, I couldn't keep going. I gassed out and couldn't get those finishes. But in the third round, I caught him with the right hand, uh, dropped him. He tried shooting on me. I sprawled, got on top, hit him a couple times. The ref stopped it. Uh, but that was my longest fight. But even with that fight too, I dominated that one as well. Uh, since then, I've learned from certain mistakes I've made in that fight, and I've, I finished everybody very quickly. And uh, I mean, I plan to do the same thing this time around. But I hope he tests me in some 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 type of way because I really haven't been tested yet, and I'm not doing this to get easy wins. Yeah. I'm doing this to become better, and I'm taking these fights to become better. And I see every single fight as an opportunity to do that so i'm hoping like i said that he does test me in some type of way but regardless whether he does it or not it's going to be finished yeah that's actually something i really do like about you because pr pretty much and this is all levels but especially amateur record really doesn't count i i honestly do not see you losing ever but uh it, it's really really important to get tested as an amateur because you're getting that experience you know to get yourself prepared for the pro level i see especially in boxing guys taking these easy freaking matches against 0 and 35 guys uh, and getting the easy win, but they're not learning anything. They're not getting better with each fight. They're just padding their record. I, I really like that. That's something you're looking for. Yeah. I uh, 
No, I don't only do MMA either. I have actually, I actually have some boxing matches too. I'm five and zero oh, boxing, yeah. and uh, I mean, I take these boxing matches to improve my striking, put me in an environment where I, I can't use my wrestling. Mm-hmm. I can't shoot. I can't take these guys down in the boxing ring. It's, it's, it's against the rules. It's not allowed. <laughs> I'll look like a fool in front of everybody. <laughs> so, I I put myself in these boxing matches in, in the Youngstown area against a play, in a place where everybody's a good boxer and test myself and so far I've I've won every boxing match as well up to I'm five and oh and that and uh it's really just about getting better each, each time I step in that boxing ring it's about getting better too and it's the same thing with MMA so I'm doing both to improve everywhere I possibly can before I turn pro are you going to uh, continue taking boxing matches with MMA uh until yeah. you turn professional or are you just gonna like stick with one no I'm gonna keep doing both I uh, a lot of stuff has come, come up since my last box match. My last box match was September of last year, uh, between MMA fights and then the injury, um, and trying to stay healthy for a title fight and like contracts negating me from fighting because of 45 day non competes and 30 day non competes and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't able to do boxing matches, but actually after this MMA fight, I have a boxing match scheduled at the Meadows Casino on August 4th that I'm, I'm fighting. I don't know the opponent's name. I really didn't look too much into it. I had a promoter hit me up, Derek Gionta, told me he has a guy that has five fights, wants a fun fight, um, asked me if I wanted to, and I said, sure. Um, it's at the Metis Casino. It's a nice venue. I, I like to fight, so I took the fight. I cannot wait for that. I'm sure you're going to get the W over there, too. Dalton, uh, in regards to MMA, um, I'm assuming you're going to get this win here uh, pretty quickly. What's next for you? I mean, obviously you want this boxing match, but where do you believe a win will put you? Um, honestly, man, I'm I'm open to pretty much anything. But I just saw something on Facebook of uh, a promoter from Virginia Beach putting on a show that's going to be uh, broadcast on it. Uh, on television, I don't, I don't know what network it was, but uh, it's going to be broadcast on television. It's in Virginia Beach. It's at the convention center. I've wrestled there in, in high school. I wrestled at a national tournament there, Virginia Beach duels, uh, in high school, and it was it was really nice. I I enjoyed wrestling there. I like the fight there too. So um, I'm going to try and get something set up for that after this fight. Fight um, possibly fight in Virginia Beach, and I believe that's August 25th. If I didn't say that already. Um, so, if I can get something set up there, I will. And after that, it's just going to be taking the MMA fights as they come. And I plan on turning pro next year after the uh, Golden Gloves. Awesome. I was looking forward to hearing you saying that. I'm, I'm really happy for you, man. I'm sure you're going to be tearing it up over there. Um, looking at your game, as we've already discussed, you're pretty much as complete as they come in, in, in regards to well-roundedness. What is your best uh, aspect? Uh, I would say my boxing probably. Um, it'd be between my boxing and my wrestling, but I think my boxing has passed up my wrestling. And uh, I have a strong wrestling background. I wrestled in high school. Uh, I wrestled in college at Seton Hill, piled a record 30, 20, 23 and 4 in college. Law, three of my losses were to the same guy. Only other loss was to a Division one, one kid from Navy, uh, 1 0 in overtime. And. Uh, after I transferred from there, from there I played um, football at YSU. But back to the the wrestling part of it, I have I was a good wrestler. I got hurt my junior and senior year of high school, but I competed on the national level. I did well on college. I went undefeated my junior year before I got hurt. Um, I wrestled with all Americans every single day, national champions every single day, and uh, you if you talk to a lot of people, a lot of people would say that my wrestling backgrounds my best attribute it's they would they would say it, it doesn't it's, it's hard to come by somebody with as good of a wrestling background as me even though I don't have the accomplishments or the accolades of like an NCAA champion or something like that my wrestling is as good as it gets but I truly believe that my boxing is better than my wrestling yeah I actually agree with you there because I, I think I watched your MMA fight I think it was two fights ago and uh, I was watching your stand up, and you were hitting him with like I don't even know how he, how he was standing after the first shot because you were just pounding it with those shots, and then you the big slam. It's just 
overall, you're, you're a very well-rounded fighter, but I can definitely see your boxing surpassing any other aspect of it. Yeah, uh, I, I think I know what ta- you fight you're talking about. Uh, Quentin Schumard. I, I, that RFO? It was it was one of your recent fights I saw on YouTube. I think so. Yeah, I think I think that's the fight you were talking about. I was I was piecing up pretty bad on my feet, and he was pretty much running into my punches, <laughs> and I slipped under one of his punches and picked him up and slammed him. Yeah, I, that's yeah. it. That was that was against that was against Quentin, Quentin Schumar, but uh, yeah, I, I think I looked sloppy in that fight. So you did. Uh, hopefully, you're not judging me off that. Uh, I definitely fight better than that at times. I thought you fought great, honestly, man. A lot of people say that, but I wasn't satisfied with my performance at all. Uh, I, I know I could have done better. I trained better. I trained harder. I I could have fought. I could have fought better than that. I fought hard the entire time, like I always do, but definitely could have performed better and i plan on showing that in this fight coming up awesome awesome dalton i don't want to take too much more of your time but the floor is yours anyone you want to thank uh how can people find you on social media um my insta start off my instagram's dalton underscore rasta um same thing with uh, uh snapchat my facebook you can just look up my name and same thing with twitter um but as for people I want to thank, I definitely want to thank my boxing coach, Sam Caldron. Like I said, he helped me out so, so much. He's taken my boxing game to to a new level. And uh, I also got to thank Mike Molinaro at uh, Molinaro uh, Strength and Fu- or Health and Functional Training. Uh, he does my conditioning twice a week. And then I want to thank my uh, wrestling jiu-jitsu coach at uh, Matt Factory in Lower Borough, Isaac Grilly. And uh, also, all the people that support me, all the people that come to my fights, uh, honestly, it, it wouldn't be the same with that, without any of them. So, I mean, having that support there, having people screaming your name, having people get involved, and it just, it's a great feeling. But uh, mostly, most of all, I'd like to thank my dad. Uh, he... He pretty much developed me and molded me into the person I am today. Uh, when I say that, I'm talking about my work ethic, uh, how I carry myself. He, when I, like I said, when I was in high school, the reason I got so good at wrestling, he was taking me all across the state. He was taking me to Du Bois from Newcastle, which is almost two hours, to Quest Wrestling Club down in Cannonsburg, South Fayette, Reynolds High School, which always wins state championships, all over the place to wrestle with the best recruits and con- Honestly, get work. I was going five, six days a week in the off season back then, and honestly, whenever I was a freshman and sophomore, there was no way I was getting around to all these places without him. And he literally did it with no problem. No, did not care. He wanted to do it. So, I mean, I, I just got to thank him because not only with my wrestling, but he helped further my MMA before he even knew it. 